There are so many dive videos online, and every single one is different. It's really confusing because it clutters your brain with way too much different information. But don't worry, this video will go in depth over every single thing you need to know, and I guarantee you won't have to watch another dive video again. I'm not going to waste your time. The most important thing that you can do for your diet is to eat single ingredient foods. If you buy steak, the only thing on the ingredient list is steak. If you buy some chicken breast, the only ingredient is chicken breast. It's pretty self-explanatory. So every ingredient in your meal should be single ingredient foods. Then you want to decide if you want to cut, bulk, or maintain. Cutting is when you maintain your amount of muscle and lose body fat. If you are a total beginner, you might be able to build muscle and lose weight at the same time. Bulking is when you want to put on muscle mass while minimizing the amount of fat gained. And main gaining is when you just maintain your current physique and slowly build on muscle mass with barely any fat gained. So how do you know which one to do? Look at this body fat percentile chart. If you are above 20% as a male, you should cut. If you are a skinny, skinny fat, or below 10% body fat, unless you are a professional bodybuilder, you should bulk. If you are a teenager, unless you are above 20% body fat, you should bulk no matter the circumstances because this is a prime time for you to grow and put on muscle. And if you deplete your body of these essential nutrients, you will end up messing up your puberty and testosterone. Now for main gaining, most people shouldn't be doing this, but if you've been lifting for 3-5 years and you're happy with your current physique and you're in between 10-50% to 50 body fat and you don't need to gain or lose body fat, you should maintain. So how do you do this? Go to the TDEE calculator in the description and put in your info. Be honest because if you lie and you are only hurting yourself, after you put in all of this, it should give you a maintenance calorie. Okay, let's say that number is 2800. If you want to cut, eat 3 to 500 calories below that. So 2300 calories or 2500 calories. If you want to bulk, eat 3 to 500 calories above that. So 3100 calories to 3300 calories. And if you want to main gain, eat the maintenance or eat 1 to 200 calories above it. After you have your calorie goal, we have to decide your other macros like fat, protein, and carbs. For protein, it also depends on whether you are cutting, bulking, or main gaining. If you are bulking, your body is well fueled and is less likely to break down muscle tissue as a fuel source. So you don't need to go crazy here. Just 0.7 to a gram per pound of body weight is more than enough. However, if you are cutting, since your body is getting less calories, has less glycogen, and has less body fat, your body is more likely to break down muscle tissue as fuel. So to combat this, you need a higher protein amount. So 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight should be good. For main gaining, you are on similar grounds to when you are bulking. So 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight will suffice. However, I'll veer more towards the higher end. Now for fats, don't underestimate this guys. Fat is so important for your general health and testosterone. You need to be including this in your diet. You should be eating 25 to 30% of your total calories from fat. This means that if you are eating 3000 calories, 30% of that is 900. There are 9 calories per gram of fat. So if you divide that by 9, around 100 grams of fat will be ideal. The fat should be unsaturated as this will decrease the amount of body fat you will gain. But whole natural butter is a good choice because it frees up your bound testosterone, which will give you the actual benefits of high testosterone like more energy, deeper voice, and facial hair. Olive or avocado oil, chicken dye, salmon are great sources as well. Finally, carbs. Don't skip out on this either because this is really important. It fuels your workouts and restores your glycogen reserves, which will help you recover. The ideal range is 40 to 50% of your total calories. So if you are eating 3000 calories, around 1500 calories should come from carbs. Since a gram of carbs has 4 calories, that person will need 375 grams of carbs a day. Make sure that these are healthy carbs too, that are minimally processed. My favorites include potatoes, yams, fruits and vegetables, brown rice, and maybe on occasion, multi-grain bread. After deciding on your macros, you want to decide how many meals per day. Research states that 3-5 meals is optimal for protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is when you want to keep your elevated levels of protein, and you want to keep it at the highest for as long as you can. So, when you eat protein, 
it like, go like this and then when you stop it like slowly starts dipping down until you eat more protein and you want to keep it like on this high level as long as you can so split up your calories and macros and split it into your desired amount of meals make sure you have a protein source a carb source and a fat source for each meal some examples would be chicken breast with potatoes cooked in olive oil and broccoli or salmon with brown rice and asparagus this is really all it takes for a good healthy diet that builds muscle while improving health and testosterone if you have any comments or questions feel free to drop them in the comments i will reply